Hi, this is Lyle Walsh. Today we'll be using Blender 2.53 Beta to learn something a bit more advanced than the usual introductory tutorials in Blender. We're going to learn how to animate values or numbers within Blender. To start off, we're going to learn how to use drivers. Drivers sound intimidating, but they're really not all that complicated. A driver is to use the data from one animation to change another animation value. Drivers use F-curves, which are what we now call IPOs. We're going to take the IPOs of a motion of a torus moving in a circle and take its X and Y animation data and we're going to use that to make a monkey head turn left and right on the X and Y axes. Now that doesn't sound too hard really. First let's take a look at how you make a cyclic F curve in Blender now. It's a bit different. You need to apply a modifier to your curve. So you start off just making three points, the top and the bottom, and to find the width between the periods of your curves. Take the data you want to use, here's the x-axis animation, and go over and apply the modifier cyclic. The numbers down at the bottom here are just when the cycle starts and when the cycle stops. The same process is used for the y data, and you just grab it and constrain it to the x-axis. Remember, this is like a piece of graph paper. Move it over to the side. So you have two offsetting sine wave curves, which can be used to define circle type motion. Now here's a way to get yourself in and out of trouble. Blender has a new setting called key sets. It'll only let you insert keys for certain types of motions. To get rid of that, you click on it with the right mouse button, delete it, but then you have to hit the enter button, and that's how you get rid of those key sets. Now you can key anything. Each object can have its own key set. So here I clicked on Suzanne, the monkey. I'm switching the key set to rotation. So now the only actions we can insert when we animate our rotation actions. So now let's go up to the rotation and let's make a driver. See how easy that is? You just right click, insert driver, insert single driver. We're going to do that for all three rotations, X, Y, and Z axes. And once the field is powered by a driver, it'll turn purple for you. Now let's go and take a look at what we've done. First off, take a look and there's no actions for rotation for the monkey. But if you switch over to drivers, now you can see what's going on. The fields to be driven are the X, Y, and Z axis rotation. Starting off, let's hit the X axis. Now let's add a driver. For some reason, Blender starts all drivers off with a modifier on it. Turn that off. We'll make our driver type a maximum value. Add the variable to say the maximum of what. And we want the rotations to be driven by the X location of the transform channel of the torus. So let's take a look at that again. The variable that we're using to be the driver is the transform channel's X, sorry, Y location of the torus object. And we set it to the type maximum value, and I haven't got a clue why. We're going to do the same thing now for rotation on the y-axis that we did on the x-axis.
If you go now and take a look, you'll see that we haven't added any F curves at all. We just have the F curves for the torus X and Y translation. There's no F curves when you make a driver for the driven object. Let's go take a look at how this looks now. It's already rotated because our curves didn't start at zero. Do the animation, and well, it doesn't look right. It's just swinging back and forth. It doesn't look like it's going in a circle. And you can see why. Because we applied the same driver to both the X and the Y axis rotation. When you go up and take a look at the values of the rotation in the transform panel, you'll see they both go up and down together. Notice that they don't update except when the uh, cursor is right over that particular panel. So let's change that and make the uh, X rotation due to translation on the Y axis and the Y rotation be to translation on the X axis. No particular reason, just for fun. Now when we turn it on, the rotation looks much better. The monkey is turning in a circle as the torus rotates in a circle. So there you have it. We've made F curves for moving an object in the X and Y axes and use that motion to rotate an object using drivers in the X and Y directions as well.